Hey, greetings, greetings, greetings to you all. I hope your day is, 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 is just magical. I hope it's filled with awareness, with bliss, with love, and with light. Because this whole thing that we're doing, this human experience, is an experience, but it's an illusion as well. So don't let these human illusions in this 3D reality get to you. So what I'm basically trying to say is I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, I'm having a magical day. So much synchronicity. So much, uh, you know, just so much connecting with different people. It's just so lovely. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm loving this reality that I am creating. I'm seriously creating my own reality. Like, I know you guys hear me, but I'm seriously creating my own reality. <laughs> wow, you guys. So I found me an apartment, and I end up manifesting it the second day that I was down here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who reached out and offered me a place to stay. I'm grateful for just meeting everybody and everybody just helped with me along the way. I'm just I'm just full of love. I'm just full of love today and I'm just feeling really thankful. Thankful for just everything that's in my life right now. I'm thankful that you guys that are really me are just I'm just thank you. Today is a day I'm just giving thanks. That's what my that's what my full moon ritual is going to be about. It's just about just how grateful I am. And how blessed I am in my life. And how blessed I am to be here right now with all of you guys connecting. So without further ado, you guys, we're going to talk about a mixture of things. You know, I never really stay on one topic. I always scramble around. So what I want to talk about right now basically is moving forward in your life. Taking the leap of faith getting off the hamster wheel, and just moving when your spirit tells you to move. There's certain places in the States and overseas that we're supposed to be at right now. There's going to be a certain energy. Our energies need to be migrated in certain areas at certain times to keep the prophecy fulfilled. So if you find yourself in a situation like I was in, I knew I had to move to Georgia. Spirit didn't really tell me where. Spirit was like, move to Georgia. And when Spirit said, move to Georgia, I'm going to move to Georgia. Because I know my energy is needed here. And I know that it's going to help me grow in and expand. And I know by me being here, I'm fulfilling pieces of the prophecy. We have to get ready to move forward. If you get a calling that you need to go somewhere or move, or quit a job and get a new job somewhere, step out of your comfort zone and move forward because you're that game piece that needs to be in divine alignment at that time to fulfill certain parts of the prophecy. You need to be there. But in order to be there, you have to detach and you have to move forward. So this full moon right here, take advantage of this full moon right here. And it's not even that. It's just the full moon. You are the magician. You are the magician. You create your reality. You'll preach it all day long about how you create your own reality. And don't even realize you can bring all of this into existence. You can detach from all of this. You can move forward. You can become the flow. We have to be the flow. We are naturally the flow. Something that I observed today when I was doing yoga with Belly at my sister, she observed when we were doing yoga was no matter how we laid on the ground on our yoga mats, the ants just kept flowing. They didn't care if this big object was there. The ants just keep kept flowing and working together and flowing. We need to pay attention to nature. We need to flow and connect and work together. We need to flow, connect, and work together. I hope y'all got that the second time when I said that. We, nature, nature does everything that it's supposed to do. Let me 
can make me some malfunctions, maybe, and some hybrid treaters or, you know, man-made GMO stuff. But for the most part, nature knows what to do. We need to be physically meeting up. I can't stress it enough, and I know I repeat it a lot on my videos, but I want y'all to understand. If I got to keep coming on here telling y'all over and over and over, I'm going to do it. We need to start connecting on a physical level in order for these energies to lock in. See us as individual cells in the God body. And when we migrate to certain energy portals, because certain places has energy portals, certain places got pyramids and stuff buried under the ground, and mounds and everything. It's portals around here. And when we all come to better together as individual cells, we activate the God body. We tap into the one mind consciousness. We do this. We do. We have to move forward, guys. What's the worst that can happen? Take a leap. Try something different. Just get up and try something different that you're afraid of today. Anything that you guys are afraid of, I want you guys to face that. If it's as simple as you got to always go to sleep with the light on, turn the light off tonight. If you're scared of spiders and there's a spider in your house, let it just stay there. All of that is you. Why are you afraid? You are godly and cleanness and beloved and hair wraps and dark sheets, but you don't even like to be outside in nature. You don't even like to. Be by it, what you we call in that animal, but your mind what that is, the eye, and you Heru and raw and everything we want to label ourselves, but you can't even connect with nature. But again, you don't even understand nature. You're not even in the flow of nature. Because you're too stuck in this human realm. Your feelings are getting in the way. Now, don't get me wrong, we need feelings to have this human experience. We need feelings to feel if that person is negative or that person is not negative. We need those type of feelings, those instinct feelings. But those emotions, anger, jealousy, worry, feeling emotional, you're sad. All of this is connected to the emotional body, the human body, you guys. I mean, we'll be really quick to say that we're gods, but don't even understand the human body. This avatar, not even a human body. It's like a feeling. So, just need to move forward, you guys, and, and get ready to really do this. Another thing is awareness. I mean, be so present in a moment that you know everything. Let me share an experience with you. Yesterday, I was cooking, and I was thinking about something. And something came to me like, you know what? This person's kind of off. Something's not right with me. Couldn't be important what it was, but my English told me something wasn't right. As soon as I, I don't know if y'all can see it, I cut my hand with a knife. Most people would have brushed it off as, oh, snap, I physically cut myself. But I paid attention to that in hindsight. And I seen the message behind the message. And that was confirmation as, yes, alert, 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 you're right. That's why I got cut. And then my ego tried to slip in and say, but nah, it ain't like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cut my other finger. A little bit after I got done cooking, got done cooking, I went to my phone, seen a message from that very same person just pop up. 
if that ain't confirmation, if that ain't connected, then that awareness, I don't know what it is. We have to be present in every moment. We have to remember every little thing, because all of us piece of the puzzle. You got to get your brain working analytically, but you need to bring it in balance with both minds. Because when you bring the two of both minds, you bring the logical and you bring the spiritual in together. And you're able to see in the first eye because you're bringing them two together. You're bringing them together in the middle. And you're able to see in hindsight. When I see certain things, my brain takes note of it. I might be walking and somebody might say, number 33. You don't think I take note of that? I might be riding in the car. Somebody might come and they might give me something. It might be number 33. I jumped in with a 33 on it. Like, you have to take note of everything. Not even just the numbers, but everything. How many times you've seen colors? How many times you've heard certain frequencies in your ear? Write your own stories. Journal. Write every experience. Know thyself. That might be a tool to help you. You're going to come to the point where you don't even have to journal. Because the physical self needs to journal to look back. But when you start working with both both of your minds and in the middle, it helps you to go in your internal journal. That's already written by your subconscious mind. You basically go into the Akasha. You tap back in and tell and that's how you're able to tap into this ancient knowledge. So being aware, watching out of certain people. Because not only did that experience happen to me, before that experience even happened, I seen a fella making a video, and he was saying, watch out for people who let your space. And you can't trust everybody. People are dressing up. And other people. So you just can't take stuff for face value. You have to feel them. You have to feel the message that they're giving. How are they coming at you? Be aware, you guys. Seriously. Um, so, awareness. What is it that one? So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think because, you know, I'm always all over the place. But it's really time for us just to move forward. Connect with each other. Connect with Mother. Stop saying, yeah, I, I can't do this. Words are spells, you guys. Words are spells. Watch out for what you say. You're getting powerful and you don't even know it. So what you say can affect you in this reality. The veil is getting very thin. And with that being said, it's easier to manifest what you want. And if you're vibrating low, guess what? You're going to attract and get low. So, um, I'm going to be bringing something really nice to y'all. I'm not going to go live about it right now. I'll probably do it tomorrow. But I want everybody to join. Because I'm going to give y'all so simple, easy tool because I know how the subconscious mind works. I'm still learning. I don't know everything. But if I can experience it and I can help you guys, why not? You know what I mean? So um, I want you guys to have your notebooks and stuff tomorrow because it's going down. I'm taking it back school style for y'all. Yes, I like apples. So if you want to bring an apple for the teacher, I'll greatly take an apple or maybe watermelon, cantaloupe. I like those too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you guys, I just, I love you guys. And I say that with my heart because guess what? I love myself. I love me. And if I love me and love myself, how can I not love y'all? You are me. <laughs> you are me. <laughs> so I'll be lying to myself because I know I love myself. So, um, you guys continue to have a magical day. Let this full moon heal you. 
know that anything that happened yesterday, what is a yesterday? What is a past? What is that? We don't know what that is. We're not even focused on that. We're focusing on the now. And now, today, at this moment, as I speak, as I speak this spell into existence, you shall move forward. You shall release and detach and get ready to level up. Level up. Really tap into that God status. Okay? So, I'm about to go meet up with some of my sisters. And tonight, we're going to go on Stone Mountain. And we're going to do some residuals. And we're going to release the residuals off the top of the mountain. We're going to let the element of mother, the element of air, take away our messages, take it, carry it right on to the ethers. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, Enjoy yourself. Don't take this life too serious at all because it's just a ruse. Be like a child. Have fun. Run outside. Play in a park. Collect rocks. Get seashells. Play Uno, play Trouble, shit, play hide and go seek with your kids, or play hide and go seek with your friends. Whatever you got to do to tap into that inner child. Put some of your childhood toys on your altar. A altar alters your reality or your perception. Alter alters your reality or your perception. So put things that bring you joy and happiness and being a district happy reach into your inner child and you look younger i mean damn look it's about to be 29 human years i feel like i'm 16 running jumping and climbing and all of that you know sorry guys i could talk for hours um i can't say it enough i love you guys Spread the word, spread the message, spread the love, keep posting, keep connecting. One love, one tribe, level up.